Today's speed paint will be about John Carter from the show ER. Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art and today I am drawing the amazing character John Carter from the show ER back in the 90s into the 2000s. Um, yes, it's been around for a while now and I just started getting into it. My mom used to watch it when it was on and uh, I'm really enjoying it, although I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, you can just mute it from here on. Okay. All right. So, um, I was really disappointed considering my personal favorite character was Doug Ross played by George Clooney. And I will draw him at some point. Don't you worry, but everyone loves Carter. It's kind of hard not to love Carter. He's just a given everybody like loves him and cares about him. And so far he's been like the thing that's given me something to look forward to, something to be excited about, um, and to bring a little bit of hope and happiness to the show. And it's really nice to see that. Carter's always been the kind of one that you want to root for and you're always there for. I really love how, especially in the beginning, how he's pretty much like a puppy. A new little puppy that's kind of scared to do things but wants to do things, wants to learn. He doesn't quite know what he's doing, but Benton has to kind of whip him into shape. Um, but I really have been enjoying watching the show so far. And so I thought, hey, why not give it a shot and start drawing some characters from this show? It's one that's not really talked about as often anymore, even though it was super, super popular back in the day. And I say back in the days, if it was forever ago, I was literally born in the 90s. And so the show is older than me by a bit. I know that dates me, but um, oh well, whatever. Older things, it's not that old, um, are good. So I like things way older than this. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, so with this, I decided to not like uh, do what I normally do and cut out and do like a perfect line art. I kind of just kept it more in a sketch and just tweaked it and tried doing a little bit more painting style in certain areas than I normally do. I mostly just wanted to do something that was a relaxing piece, something that I wanted to do rather than just trying to think so desperately about content and everything because I'm starting to burn out from doing that. And as much as I do love doing certain characters and things, which I will not give up, like Outlander and stuff, never have to worry about that stopping. Um, it is a good thing to remember that I want to keep doing content for myself because this is my channel and I want to do stuff that you guys can enjoy, but it'll be good if I'm able to do things that I know make me happy because then it'll make me want to do things more and want to explore things more and not have to stress out about is this on trend right now? Is this gonna work out? And so I really just wanted to play around and see what I could do without worrying so much about what it's gonna be like. And also I thought for all those fans out there who have been a fan of the show, ER, for a long time, um, you guys don't really get content anymore, which is sad. So I thought, hey, why not draw him? because everybody loves Carter and I will definitely be revisiting <laughs> this series and doing more characters from the show. Don't you worry about it. Um, I like most of the people on it. Not everyone, but most. And so if you have a favorite character and you want me to draw them, comment them down below and I'll see what I can do for you guys, all right? It's, uh, it's pretty fun. I actually quite enjoy drawing him and considering this is my first time drawing him and it's not like 100% like I worked on this till his face looked exactly the same as the reference. You know what I mean? I didn't do full on realism, but I did I did work on this sketch and make it a little bit more than I usually do. But more so in my style rather than like polished. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but you'll see it looks slightly different than my other stuff. 
mostly because I tried to change like the line colors for the face so it would match like skin. It wouldn't be so harsh of like line work, black line work. And yeah, I tried to clean up a little bit, tried to paint over things and see how it looked. And I just wanted to enjoy the experience and making something of a character I like. If there's any other shows or series you guys think are really underrated and they need some love, let me know and I'll check it out for you guys. Carter has given me so many moments to be happy about. He's done so many great things. I just, I really love and appreciate his, um, his presence in the show, especially after I lost Doug. It was really hard for me. I did take a break from watching the show for a bit. Um, I'm trying to get back into it. I know it's a drama, but I was looking for something to watch in the meantime because Outlander, you know, finished not long ago for the sixth season and now they're filming the seventh and have to go through Outlander all over again. And I do watch the show over and over, but it's always nice to find a new show that has a lot of seasons that you can kind of just dig into and you know, kind of lose all sense of reality. <laughs> um, but yes, it is, it is really enjoyable. As someone who does not like anything medical, like I'm terrified of anything medical, I do watch shows like Grey's Anatomy and I watch this and stuff. And I really, really like about the characters and their relationships, not necessarily the uh, surgery part and the hospital part, but yes. It was a lot of fun to do this and see what I could do and try out a little bit different techniques and how I pursue rendering and everything. And I haven't been able to just sit down and do something straight like this without feeling really stressed about how it's going to come out, what you guys are going to think. And of course I care if you guys like it or not, but uh, it's also good to remember that you make art for yourself, not always for everyone else. And so I hope you guys really are enjoying this. And uh, even if you don't watch the show, I think you can still enjoy this anyway, because it is a really good like thing to just sit back and kind of relax to. You don't have to think about anything. You just watch the art being made. Although that might be kind of hard with me talking. You can always just put on other music or do whatever you guys want to do. But uh, please be kind in your comments, that's all I ask. Um, I remember when I was younger and I wanted to draw ties and like button up shirts and collars. It was so difficult for me. So I ended up teaching myself like a really simple way to just do it from my mind. And so now I got to the point where it's probably the easiest kind of shirt for me to draw like on the spot and ties. I, I was pretty obsessed with ties for a while, so that's kind of why a, a lot of my characters or me will have ties. I do have ties in my life, and I feel like I'm maybe just going on. But yes, um, I did try a few things with the background to see if it could blend and help. Because I didn't want to do like a full on background like from the original photo. I wanted it to look like a portrait that I painted, more like art rather than just a mimic of the original piece. And I can see the flaws in the drawing, but I kind of feel like it gives him more character. So here it is, the final piece, John Carter from ER. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like this video for more content like this and to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.